Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.8.3 and uh, what this mod does is uh, essentially boosts your FPS and uh, also you can see like more in depth in your settings and it also adds some stuff. Um, so yeah, basically uh, you should have this mod. I mean, it's not like a mod that adds stuff. It doesn't like... It's not like a hack or anything. It's just like really, really helpful and uh, yeah, you should probably get it. Uh, but yeah, what you want to do to install the mod is visit the description and under downloads there will be two links and uh, you want to click on both. The first one is going to take you to the mod page itself and then the next one is going to take you here and uh, basically this is just a program you will need to uh, basically install the mod. So it's called WinRAR or you can get 7-zip but uh, basically all you have to do is just select the version and uh, Basically, just install that. Should be pretty easy. Um, but yeah, once you've got that, uh, you can go to here, and uh, you want to go to Minecraft 1.8.3, and uh, basically, there's only Ultra, which is sort of annoying, but uh, it should be okay. Uh, but basically, you just want to choose a version. Uh, it doesn't... I think... Yeah, it does matter. Uh, actually, well, I think, like, A3 is, like, for a better computer, but I'm not really sure. But uh, I'm just going to go with A3, uh, and uh, yeah, so you just want to click Download, and uh, you just want to wait five seconds up the top here and then click skip add and uh, once you've done that it's going to take you back here then just press download and uh, once you've done that it's going to come up with this message here just press keep and uh, once it's done that it should be downloading and uh, then you just want to get it and drag it to the desktop okay so once you've got it on the desktop you can close this and uh, then what you want to do is uh, firstly make sure that you have ran 1.8.3 uh, at least once. You should have probably. Uh, so you can just check here ready to play 1.8.3. And uh, just in case you should probably press play just to you know, make sure you have actually played it. Uh, but you should if you play Minecraft often. Um, so yeah, uh, once you've done that you want to press the Windows key and R at the same time. And that's going to bring up this run thing. Now basically here you just want to put in percentage app data percentage so put that in and then press OK and uh, that's going to bring you here you just want to look for dot minecraft it should be at the very top or just you know give it a search or just look for it uh, should be pretty easy to find but yeah just go into that then go into your versions folder and uh, what you want to do is right click on this 1.8.3 folder just right click on it copy right click paste uh, also, if you don't have this, that means you haven't ran 1.8.3. Uh, but if you do, it's all good. Um, so yeah, uh, what you want to do with this new folder, uh, you just want to right-click on it, rename, and rename it to Optifine. Okay, so now that we've made a copy of the normal version of Minecraft, basically what we're going to do is uh, add the mod to this new version. Um, so yeah, uh, once you've done that, you want to go into here, you want to highlight these two files, Right click, rename them, and you want to rename them to what you name this folder. So Optifine, make sure it's exactly the same. So O P T I F I N E, just go like that. And uh, then you want to get this JSON file, you want to right click on it, uh, open with a Notepad, so click that. Or just any uh, program that can, you know, edit text, so like Word or anything really. Um, not anything, but you know. Uh, so yeah, uh, what you want to do is look for 1.8.3. You just want to highlight it, then delete it, and just replace it with Optifine or whatever you name these two files and the folder. So yeah, uh, put that in, and then File, Save. You can close that. Okay, now what you want to do is right-click on this Optifine file. Just right-click on it, open with WinRAR. Now, uh, if that doesn't show up here, that's basically the program you should have downloaded before. So you do need it. So yeah, just install that, and then it should show up here. So just click that, and uh, that's going to bring up this. Just drag it aside, and then look for a folder called meta-inf. Uh, should be at the top, uh, so then just right-click on that, delete, then click yes. Now, once we've deleted meta-inf, you just want to open the Optifine file with WinRAR as well. So just right-click, open with WinRAR. Once you've done that, you want to drag it to the side. Highlight any file and press Control A, and uh, this is going to highlight them all. And uh, now what you want to do is get all this content here, which is basically just the mod itself, and then just drag it into the new version you made. So just click and drag, let go, and uh, then just press OK. And uh, that's basically it. Now all you have to do is uh, you can close everything, and uh, now you just have to add it to Minecraft. So open Minecraft. Uh, you can also 
delete this because you're done with that. So yep, yeah, just like that. And uh, now basically you should see that you have one profile here. Now that's just your 1.8.3. So now what you want to do is click new profile. You want to name it to whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to call it Optifine Mod. Doesn't matter at all. And uh, then where it says use version, click this arrow and then select release space Optifine or whatever you call the folder and the two files. So select that, save. And now to run the mod, you just select the new profile we have and just press play. Okay, so uh, if we go to options here, then video settings, as you can see, if you hover over something, it uh, says a few things about it. And uh, yeah, that's basically how you know it's worked. Uh, you can also go to quality and do some awesome stuff here, along with like details. And yeah, it's all pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's basically what the mod does. And uh, if it didn't work for any reason, please leave a comment and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all later.